Hey, I'm Zach Cooper, your Splinter Cell Community Developer. This is Richard Carrillo, Lead Game Designer online and what we're going to be showing you here today, Co-op. We're here at the uh, Ubisoft Toronto Playtest Lounge and um, no playtesting going on except for what we're about to do and we're going to give you a little walkthrough of a co-op mission. You ready? Sounds good. Let's do this. So here we are. This is uh, the first of the grim missions, Richard. We're at uh, we're doing a mission called Sea Fort. Uh, what does that mean for the player? Where are we? What are we doing? Um, so we're actually we're off the English Channel right now. Grim missions are all about stealth. So those fans that really enjoy hardcore stealth, they're gonna love Grim's missions inside of Blacklist. Um, so in Grim missions, she's all about that ghost play style. She wants you to go in, hack three different stations, three different objectives and uh, then get out all without being detected. You can take people out as much as you need to, of course, hide their bodies, but at the end of the day, if you're detected, you have to start all over. It's uh, definitely something for the hardcore fans. All right, so we got a couple of patrol guys here. What are you thinking? You wanna, you wanna take these guys out or you, uh, do you wanna stealth by them? What are you thinking? You know, knowing a little bit about this mission, this, these guys are actually gonna be a little difficult on the way back out, so it might be better just to take them out and uh, it's easy to hide them you know, in the water. All right, so why don't you, I'll scout this, okay, I'll take this guy, you scout yeah, up Yeah, I'll go for the deeper guy. guy. All right. I'm gonna whistle for this guy. Right, this guy's going for you. You got my back? Because this guy. Okay. Oh. oh! Nice, <laughs> nice. I wasn't intending to, uh, you know, act that quickly, but. Grab that uh, body. What are you thinking, we're throwing these guys overboard? <laughs> All right then. <laughs> There you go. Oh boy. It's the easiest spot. Yeah, he just flew over the You know, I'm going to switch to lethal, actually, just because right. I like a little blood. I'm Sam Fisher. Your eyes are brown. That sounded dirty. I'm going to keep it, <laughs> it non-lethal. All right. So what are we doing here? Got anything on the other side of this door here? I'm not quite as familiar with this mission as you are, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take the lead. You know, there's okay. multiple routes uh, throughout each mission. Uh, we build them more like a sandbox. Okay. So we can actually take this route. There's a couple hidden routes, or we can go a little further south for a co-op entry, but... You're already going this way, so we'll, we'll continue on. Yeah, and a, and a good co-op partner that you are, while I was snake camming the door, you just went ahead and opened it. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> thumbs up to that. All right, let me... I'm going to peek under this one. All right, should I open it while you're doing that? You should totally do that. All right, I'm doing it. I hope there's no... Oh, oh man, there's a dog right there. What a jerk. All right, I'm going to stun this dog. Oh, uh-oh. Oh, oh, ooh. What are you doing? <laughs> oh, someone heard my shots, actually. He's taken care of now. He's, He's coming, coming out. from behind, yeah. Woo! He owns a prize-winning show dog. This is this is not yeah. good. This is this is horrible, but you know, it's all about the game. This is realistic difficulty for all those watching. <laughs> Alright, you're you're killing people off my camera. <laughs> I've got one guy here. I'm gonna throw in some night vision, see if there's anything else that's going on. Did you close the door behind me? No. Okay, you're on the other side. No, there. no, no. I got your back. Don't worry. All right, I'm going to close this because I don't want I got anyone a guy creeping right up on me here. I here at A's objective. Okay. I'm going to creep in on him. Oh. All right, is there anyone else in this room? No. You got him? All right. Don't struggle. Nicely done. So this is the first objective. I'm going to go ahead and hack this. In the show go for program. it. I'm hacking the router now. Anything else? Send that guy in the water. Oh, kind of. <laughs> Didn't quite make it there. All right. So that's the first of three objectives. We're not going to do all of them. We don't want to give you the, the entire uh, mission, but we're going to give you a, a good taste of what's going on. You know, here. if you go right a little bit right here, this is one of our uh, co-op doors, oh. dual breach entries. So throughout the level, you can actually play this level solo if you wish. But when you do play solo, it'll be a lot more difficult. Obviously, we built these for co-op. And on top of that, uh, we build a lot more strategies in for two players. So you need two players to go through this entrance. Oh, I think there's someone on the other side of that because uh, someone got a little upset. Oh, all right. So we got some lasers. Oh, a bunch of lasers. Oh, yeah, this is one of our more exciting rooms. And, and I'm seeing a, a camera here. Oh, someone found a body. So They found the dog, actually. That so. dog's head might have exploded on its own. You never know. <laughs> dogs these days. All right, I'm going to go ahead and stun that camera. We've got some suspicious activity in your sector. There's a laptop over here on the left if you want to go for that. I Very do. dangerous. I do. Oh, one of the hidden blacklist laptops in each level. Hacking that will get Charlie some great intel and get you uh, some good buco bucks for your uh, customization. Right. Let's go ahead and hack this thing. 
Nice. Ah, you did it like it was Tell nothing. Tell Charlie I got another treat for him. I'm bringing in a lap. I've been Sam Fisher before. I'll let him know. As I almost get, <laughs> as I almost <laughs> run into the lasers. <laughs> All right. We're gonna move on. Watch out. There's guys around here. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and close these doors. Looking for that dog's body. Do you see them? Oh yeah, I see this door is open. Yeah, he left, and he's now. Everyone's kind of in a search state right now, so the entire level is a little more dangerous. And all, right. all the patrols are just randomized now. Everyone's kind of looking around and investigating anything that kind oh, of yeah, makes noise. I see noise. one guy. He's way over yeah, there. Yeah, I got one guy marked okay, you so marked you can him. see him. All right. um, are we, let's go to B. That's only uh, 20, 20 meters away. I'm going to keep my eye on this guy. Go ahead. Go ahead. All right, so we're going to split up. Uh, a couple of lasers yeah, he's here. right for me. All right, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and try and, you know, <laughs> we've already left enough of a presence. I'm going to see if I can... Uh, get by without affecting this room. Hostile neutralized. All right. Another guy down. Yeah, thanks, Briggs. <laughs> this isn't the cleanest way to beat this mission. No. So I'm Snake Cam, and I see, you know, we got a bunch of lasers here on the other side. What's going on over there? Nothing. Don't worry about it. So as I said, like, we build these missions really uh, to build a lot of variety into every level. So. There's about three different ways, at least, to get from A to B. Whoa. Nice room in here, eh? All right, so that's obviously our... Oh! You've been spotted. I'm aborting the mission. Of course. Of I course. hit my head. Yeah. I hit my head. I did a slide move, and uh, I don't want to talk about it. Tell you, Briggs, we expected more of you. Hey, you know what? I'm new to Fourth Echelon. I'm new to the game. <laughs> and, I like this uh, role playing that we Sam got going Fisher. On here. You're supposed to teach me better. You're supposed yeah. to be my mentor. And you know, I'm gonna tell Grim on you. <laughs> All right. So let's uh, let's try and do that again. We'll do it quickly. Maybe we won't. I we'll don't go. Know. We go a different route this time. As I said, there's there's tons of routes throughout this level. It's very much a sandbox. I failed on purpose because I want us to explore some more routes. And this time, let's 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 go right past these first two guys. Uh, we're sneaking by. Creep. Should we listen in on their conversation? No, we'll save we'll save that for them when they want to. Uh... Oh boy. We also randomize a lot of the, a lot of the patrols, a lot of the guys. So every time you play a grim mission, it feels a little different. Um, it's not something you can easily speed through. There's always going to be surprises. Oh man, this guy's right here. Oh, that's those. That yeah, watch close. out, watch out. Now, don't forget you got sticky noisemakers that you can uh, use to distract guys away from your position. Of course, I can whistle as well to distract them towards me and away from you. Where's the second guy? Can you mark that second guy? Where's he at? So I got, got one, one right here. There. I don't know where the second guy is. Let me see if I can see him with my MVGs. Night vision goggles. Sorry. Oh, yeah, yeah there he is. We're not using cheap sonar right now. We are using night vision only. <laughs> You got him? Yeah, he's marked. Oh, okay, so he's coming both, towards okay, me, though. They're both so over there. I'm going to take it easy well, here. Good luck, Sam, because I'm going to go ahead. Right, oh, coming. no! Oh, they got me. All right. Okay, so um, I think we've, we've probably gone, <laughs> gone through enough of this to give people an introduction of what, what C4 <laughs> is all about. Uh, this is the first mission of the uh, Grim missions, the fourth echelon co-op missions. Uh, Richard Carrillo, thanks for doing this. Hey, thanks for having me.